It's hard to forget someone like that. Is my father still alive? Yes, he is. As far as we are concerned, he is dead. What have they told you about me? Lantern Hill is the story of a young girl's journey to bring her estranged parents back together again. And the journey is a supernatural one in many ways because she's dealing with forces that are beyond her control and things that she doesn't understand. Please don't let them send me, Mother. I've been waiting for you. Are you Hepzibah? Because of country people being like they are and untouched by uh, other people saying that can't be, she probably was born with what they call second sight in my grandmother's day, you know. So-and-so has second sight. I told you I was there the night you were born. I've been watching you all your life. Your mother's recovering nicely, dear. A group of things that made me interested in this. First of all, I loved the script. I mean, it is so romantic, so mysterious, so, you know, it's like out of those old English novels, you know, the Brontes and everything. It has that kind of feel to it. Evelyn, come back! Evelyn! This movie is like cello music. I think it's, uh, it, it's personal and it's about family and longing for family. It's enough that we found each other. It doesn't matter what you've been told about me. Why did you send for me now? I felt compelled to know who you are, Jane. She wants me to go home. You mustn't believe every passing remark your Aunt Irene makes. She does these things deliberately. You hid the letters so she believed Dad still loved Evelyn. She's quite happy the way she is. Bye, Dad! Shut up, sweetheart. You'll be back soon. The emotional landscape of the film is kind of like Wuthering Heights. It's uh, dark and brooding and very mysterious. Hannah, give it to me. Didn't your pa tell you? We pushed the car over the cliff. Those don't rest into the rungs to put right, you know. We're creating a whole uh, pine wood set with a big bog in the middle of it where Jane actually confronts what she thinks is a spirit at a certain point. It's dealing with elements that are unexplainable, but not in a ghost story type of way. It's being confronted by things that seem to be something other than what they are. Well, it's that wonderful mix, and also it's that thing that... Uh that Kevin does in his films, which is that actual relationships exist. These are real people in a time, and they actually are interacting off of each other, and that makes for drama. And yet, at the same time, this kind of a wonderful sense, you feel like the whole thing might be being played in like a mist. Mm -hmm. or a fog, this kind of a dreamlike quality about it. Each one will see it from a different point of view. She's one of those women that the veils left enough for her to see a kind of eternity. Tell me what you want. My mother and my father and me together. I was lost. Something brought me back here. Oh. I'm, I'm still in love with your mother. Tell her! I said, I love you! Hepzibah is like a seer. She's bringing people together. She's a connecting piece from the world beyond. She's someone who is on her way out. Your power is greater than you know, Jane Stewart. It is a truly kind of fascinating film. It won't be a film that reminds them of any theme that they've seen before. You were right to do what you did. You've always had the power to bring her back. Don't need me anymore. Get out 
here at Watchkin. Grandmother says you take after your father. That's a lie. What's that man saying to you? Mommy! Mommy, I've missed you.